That's like the would be the best possible weekend for me. Actually, the best weekend is, do you guys know when you think that it's Sunday and then you realize that it's actually Saturday? It's like the doctor telling you you're gonna live. <laughs> I've got time to do everything I've always wanted. I'm gonna write that book. I'm gonna win back Jessica. I'm gonna become a doctor. That's like if God realized on the seventh day that it was actually still the sixth day. He's like, oh, I'm gonna make dragons. I'm gonna give plants brains. I'm gonna finish slugs. I can fix that whole male seahorse pregnancy debacle. I can finish making all the humans Mormon. <laughs> no, but the real reason I love the weekend so much is that I don't have to use my alarm clock. See, I, I got this alarm clock like 15 years ago, and when I got it, it was the fanciest thing. It was a CD alarm clock. But mine was different because it was poorly engineered. Because it could only ever play the first song on the CD. And the only CD I ever had in there was the Lion King soundtrack. <laughs> and, the, and as you guys know, the first song is the circle of life. So for like 15 years, I never got past the first few seconds. I woke up to, ah, <laughs> There was no point in me having a CD alarm clock. It was just going, ah. That's what normal alarm clocks do. <laughs> I used to love that song. Now I hate any song that even uses that note. <laughs> I can never get married. It will be like, bum, bum, ba da, Zalindia! <laughs> never wake up to a song you like. If something wakes you up, you will hate it. That's why I think people start to hate their spouse. <laughs> you could go to sleep on your honeymoon and be like, I love you so much, sweetheart. You mean the world to me. And then she wakes you up. Why do I marry you? She could just be going to the bathroom or going, ah, it doesn't matter. You're not thinking like a human yet. <laughs> Thank you.